All right, uh, day seven or so. You gonna check it up on uh, evidence? Let's watch, please. Sure, uh, you know, Case number four three two one. I'll be notified. I got some kind of a black eagle on his. What did you say your name was? It was Travis Hines. There's a NPD officer that called earlier to talk to you, but I said you weren't until nine, so. All right, so I got the report ready for you. The report is 12 pages. That would come out to $1.80. And then this is a letterhead they wanted me to give to you in regards to the security footage for Target. Is that and free? For the body camera for this case. That's so free. that would highlight that. That tells you next steps you want to take for those if you do want to uh, continue to get those. Otherwise, I do have the report ready. And uh, training history for... Off and, and then uh, discipline records. That'll be highlighted in the uh, letter. Oh, you talk about it. All right, this is for me. Okay. Yeah, so uh, releasable today. I got the training history for them and then the report. Okay, all right. And all right, and then the body cam videos, it's all together. The body camera is highlighted in the uh, letterhead. Oh. The body cam is not releasable today. It requires prepayment for that because it has to be redacted. Video will require $586 for this is the lowest paid. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, thanks. Sorry. No, thank you. You're good? What's up? We're good? Yeah, I mean, do you want the report? I got that release. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not paying for that. Okay, then I, I just need release. You, you want to you wanna charge a dollar fifty? Dollar eight. Okay, yeah, I'm not paying for that. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
<clears throat> yeah, I see you guys. You guys want five hundred and eighty-six dollars for what? I can't see it. Can you... Oh, sure. Okay. Let me see what you tried to. Do. This is the chief. This is the police departments. Yeah. We have nothing to do with this. But well, you don't have anything to do with the evidence. The evidence that's going to be used against me for my trial. For what you're asking, no, sir. But that's that's okay. okay. I just keep that back so I don't lose that. Okay. Well, it's evident. I mean, it's it's the body cam, which you know I'm I'm uh, challenging it, not not Is guilt. That, on your court date. Yeah. Which is coming up. Present all everything that you have. Yeah. To the judge, and when you get that. What? When you get all this stuff, I don't know what you. I'm not paying six hundred dollars. Then. <laughs> For okay. a body cam? That's a lot. I don't have, Do you, does have it, no control over that. Doesn't it sound like a lot of money? I don't know. I don't know what this Six hundred dollars for body cam. Uh, you don't that's that's reason maybe reasonable? I don't know. Okay, all right, you don't know. No. I know. <laughs> as little as I make, you know, in relation to how much I make, that's a lot. You might maybe you make a lot more than me. <laughs> On July 16th, that's your court date. Yeah. Explain all that to the judge. Yeah, I'll I'll have to. Uh, I want to submit this as evident evidence. Sixteen. You don't. I can't submit it now as evidence. No. I'd say it's done on your court date. Where it's this is this is Exhibit A. And it's brought in at that time. Okay. Hang on to it. All right. Over Zoom. I mean, what I would do is I just kind of hold it up to the screen. If the judge needs to do have anything further. She will have. You Okay, because I, I could email a copy. Yeah, you could do that too. I have no problem with, with that. Before or after July 16th. If you want to put it in now and I'll just hang Okay, it. I'll do that. Okay, all right. Um. <clears throat> All right, so Chief Nasty wants a lot of money for a body cam video. In your request for my case, I got two cases, but I only gave him one. And he's just kind of taking it as just a kind of a case that I'm not involved in. That case has my name attached to it, and it's just like he's treating it like I'm just kind of asking about some random case. Security cam footage of the parking lots for Target has been denied as this record is not the sole property of West Milwaukee. And I go to the Target and listen to what they say. <laughs> is a manager or loss prevention person easy to find? Um, yeah, I see. Did you want me to call them up here? Well, uh, who, who, could you call the loss prevention or the manager? I mean, I, I, I guess I prefer the loss prevention, but I mean, yeah. manager would work. You so, I mean, uh, I could meet them halfway wherever they're at. So I could start head, walking in the direction that they're at. Usually AP would be, if you just go straight down that way, it's gonna be the door. All right, first door on my right. Hello, I was arrested on uh, Friday night. Do you guys provide video for uh, viewing of that for uh, the part of the, part of the discovery process when it goes to the court? Yeah, the cops have to come in. Oh, that's how you only work it? Yeah. I can't look at it myself? Okay, because I was thinking I was trying to decide if I could ask or try to subpoena it, but it was something on Friday night. Do you erase? Do you, do you uh, I mean, just I'd ask you to hold it. So, I mean, yeah, the cops, the okay. tell them this is just Friday, so yeah. tips what the cops would do that, okay. That's it. All right. Well, I just had to ask. Yeah. All right. Um, I can it for you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so there's a, a circular reasoning. Target will only give their security cam video to the police, and the police are just flat out denying me. 
So then the only option I have is to subpoena, which would then, um, that would have to get approval from the, the judge. And, and then uh, the judge would send the, the police to target to, and, uh, and then target only gives the video to police and police have to um, like follow through with the subpoena. I, they don't. They don't follow through with the FOIA uh, IA request. Furthermore, there's no records responsive to your request for disciplinary records for Aid or Tayloff. So he's saying that these guys, by the way they're acting, nobody complains about them. That's amazing. All body cam videos, except that which involves a requester. Okay, and I'm just a requester. That's all they see me as. They don't see me as a defendant. Will require all body cam videos except that which involves the requester. No, they're saying, oh, okay. I see what they're saying here. They're saying that the, uh, the body cam requires redaction for anybody else but me. So they're kind of saying that I should get unredacted body cam videos. 6.63 hours of video and redaction takes approximately uh, 1.5 times, okay, the amount of time um, to complete a full and thorough review. Okay, so it won't take me that much time. The fee to complete this action will require prepayment Okay, are they, so I don't, I don't, uh, I don't fall into that category. I'm Travis Hines. I don't fall into the category where it'll take 1.5 times to uh, do the thorough review. I don't need the redaction. So actually, this is a misquote on me. This is the quote for anybody else. But uh, my my fee should be lower than that for this is the lowest paid individual with our department who is able to perform the task so i guess i need to go back and ask them what the fee would be for me just to clarify because i'm the defendant and i i want unredacted um but i don't want to pay anything i'm the defendant i shouldn't have to pay anything anything they give to the prosecutor i want copies of so uh, the, does the prosecutor do an FOIA request for for this this case? I don't think so. I think the police are like, here, please take it. We'll pay you to take it. You know, they're not. They're, they don't have that that's that same kind of relationship. And whatever the prosecutor gets, I guess I'm not entitled to see in Wisconsin. But uh, I need to make good arguments why I, I should be able to see it. And if, it's, uh, if I'm going to be going to trial, I mean, you can't use evidence against me that I can't see ahead of time. I mean, why they require I make arguments to see the evidence ahead of time that's going to be used against me is ridiculous. I mean, in Wisconsin, they don't take that for granted. So in a time with my experience with getting body cam fit footage so far, uh, Beloit, Wisconsin just sends it to you for free. Even I, did, I didn't have a case with them at all. They just had a, a link that they could just send you to, a link that was good for 48 or 72 hours to download the videos that they got. And I don't even recall if that was through Axon or not. but. Uh, that was free. The Beloit, Wisconsin, they gave the back of the car, the front of the car, the body cam, all of that, just for a little stop, for free. But to come to West Milwaukee, you'd think they'd be more advanced. They want $600. The, uh, uh, the case in Paducah, Kentucky, or McCracken, was McCracken County, that was free. I didn't have to go through the sheriff. The prosecutor gave it to me. They used Axon. They gave me a link to download 3.5 gigabytes. Unredacted body cam. Easy to download and easy access. But here, they want to charge $600 and give me a CD 
and and it's just they got axon cameras and if they can afford axon four cameras in milwaukee they can afford the axon program too so why why are they not using the axon program for links to uh to upload to download those body cam videos instead they're, they're using cds all right that's something that require that should t take uh a public records request all right so what kind of arguments can i make to the judge about that high cost for the body cam because that seems like the cost is higher than what the actual uh like uh, um like uh the cost to make it doesn't seem to be uh likely that high they just say uh as an explanation the lowest paid worker i don't i don't know what that means um I'd like to know what uh, what the costs are involved, given give uh, with with uh, with a nice explanation. And where do they think that money is going? Actually, to cover the cost, it looks more like a for-profit video make video video releasing agency than it is a government agency. And what's really disturbing to me is how these uh, the 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 court is passing off the. The court is passing off the blame on the police, saying that they don't know what the police are doing. All right, they don't have a clue what the police are doing, and the police don't have a clue what the court is doing, and they don't want to be told what what either one is doing. So by playing, playing uh, like in um in uh like pl playing the the game of of uh like like uh, not not knowing, they're they're indiscriminate. They're discriminant. They're they're un, un un undecided about what the other person's doing. Then that's a problem. And I, I um I guess I have to be the one who makes them aware of what the other person is doing, uh, because they're not they're not uh, aware of what the other person is doing. So it's it's uh, it's a game that they're playing there. Not they're saying oh I don't know what they're doing. So. Uh, it's 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 not something I ask about so I don't want to know either and and let them continue what they're doing and the judge is the ultimate decider of all of this to play stupid like this is not not healthy